All right, well, we covered a lot of that there. Into the next one, though, Matt DiBenedetto. That's how you say that, by the way. <laughs> Brett DiBenedetto. Just record it in my voice. Yeah. Play it back. <laughs> Just drop the, drop the voice levels yeah. a little while. Uh, penalized for forcing the 24 down below the yellow line on the last lap. Goes from P2 to P21. Freddie, we can start off where you left off. <laughs> I mean, spot on for the penalty, obviously. I mean, he guy's doing what he's got to do. Like Brett talked about, you know, he, he went up. He had to block the top. He had a lot of shit going on in three and four there. He he's got to pull all the way to the wall to block the top. Then the twenty four's got to run to the bottom. So now he's got to Doug. You know Doug's trying to block everything he can up there, telling them where they're at. So they go to the bottom. But I mean, the twenty four's there. And but to Matt, it doesn't matter because second might as well be fiftieth to Matt. You know what I mean? Your only shot to win the race is try to go down there and block the shit out of the twenty four, stall them out as hard as you can. Force him below the line again. Make NASCAR make a call. You know, if, if they don't make a call on twenty four, there he, I mean, twenty one, he misses by a bumper to Danny, who's under the line. So you know, I don't know. You, you got to make that block. You got to do everything you can because you're you're racing for a win. Second place doesn't mean anything to Matt De Benedetto right there. You know, you're, you're doing every possible thing you can do to win that race, and and uh, you know, he run the twenty four below the line and and deserved a penalty for it. Matt De Benedetto. Damn it! I almost had it right there, Matt. D. Benedetto. If I there look at it, go. I can say it. I'm going to get you a little phonetics board. This right guy's not time. racing to win Talladega. This guy is racing for his livelihood. If he wins this race, there's a chance that John Menard makes a phone call that says, keep this guy in my car. And, and there's a chance that Ford rallies behind him and says, keep this guy in the car. Yes, we know his contract has expired. But that doesn't mean he can't still get a new contract. It happens all the time. I've been a part of those situations where it happens. We think that it's either Cindric in that car or Matt. If Matt wins that race, he makes it pretty dang hard for Penske to announce this week that he's been let go. And, and it also obviously helps his stock in the sport to win the race. So I don't know him personally. A uh, good friend of mine spots for him. He thinks highly of him. A lot of people on Twitter seem to really rally behind this guy and the emotions that he shows. And, and again, I'm just spot on for everything that, that transpired there to create an entertaining finish. And, and I, that's what I want the story to be about. I want it to be about Matt DiBenedetto almost winning his first ever cup race, finishing second. What a heartbreaking loss. And by the way, are you going to have a job next year? I mean, it could have been Lars. It could have won the race and then got the penalty. I mean, that would have been even. That would have been a bigger. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, I don't know. You know, I've seen this outcry yesterday about you know how could they ever let him go? You know, he's done such a good job this year, and I like Matt a lot. Like great guy. The guy genuinely loves racing. We talked about Doug spotting for him. There's been a couple times where we've landed on a plane and, and went and got breakfast and Matt's come with us, and all the guy wants to do is talk about racing. You know, had Bubba do last week, had it go. I mean, generally a great guy. But when you look, aside from the plate race yesterday and pitch strategy a couple weeks ago, he's had a generally average season. I mean, he's got eight top tens in that 21 car, which is super good equipment, you know, like I said, I really like the guy, and I want to see him do well, but you, you were given a year to perform, and, and I don't know that three top fives and eight top tens in 31 races is getting it done. Yeah, I think Matt drove the wheels off it yesterday. He was a, he was a great teammate. He was right there. We all worked good together. He is a great dude, too. I've been out. Uh, I've been to breakfast with him and stuff many times. Really good dude. He must like to eat breakfast. <laughs> Dude, this kid He's he, a big boy, man. Yeah, dude. He <laughs> he probably burns seven thousand calories a day and probably eats about fourteen. So hey, no worries he, yeah. got all them muscles. Yeah, he'd whoop you. Um I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but you know and, and Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll, just it, keep I, I'll say though, Matt, like man, it's the last lap, man. Just let us race. You're gonna give us this package where we can get these runs and do things. Let them race, man. Let's let let's Yeah. Let's race it. I think Matt did a great job, but like you said, he's going for the win, man. He's doing everything he has. Just like he's doing nothing different than what, what Clint would do or Bubba would do or Joey would do up front. You want to win the race. I don't want you to win, so I'm going to try. And I'm not saying he needs to wreck you. This is a similar situation that I can put like Ross in next year where you had a year, you know, and you had a year to, to, to make it happen. And Ross is going to have a year next year to make it happen. And if, and if you have an average season – you can't be shocked if you get replaced by somebody that maybe has more money. You know, you, you got to look. I, I guarantee you, when this schedule came out and there were six road courses on it, 
Austin Cindric became a lot more attractive to put in that 21 car just for the fact of how good he is on road courses. That's now six opportunities he can go out and maybe win a cup race next year. Five of them were before the playoffs. So now you, you, you could, this could be an automatic bid to the playoffs if he can win a race at one of these five road courses. So, you know, I feel bad for Matt, but again, he had the opportunity to, to make it happen this year. And, and I'm not going to say he had a bad year, but he, he could have had a better year, I think. Yeah, I think it, to me, there's more things that matter. Like, I've always thought a guy needs two complete years of Xfinity and good equipment, winning races, getting his confidence way before you go to the Cup Series. Because going to the Cup Series is very humbling, I would say, coming from the Xfinity Series. It, it can be a very humbling experience because those guys are. Those guys are pretty good, man. Like, it, it, it's hard. The Cup Series is very difficult. We've seen guys from other series, stars from other series. We've had a Formula One star coming on a truck race. Could barely get around Charlotte, you know? So it's uh, these. this is not an easy thing to do. Um, but, you know, we've got a new car coming out after next year. So do you bring a rookie in, put him in this car for a year, or do you start him with a new car where he doesn't have to learn to bat? You know, if he learns bad habits in this car, that transfer to the other car. Or do you let him run another year and, and win five, seven races in Xfinity, possibly another championship before he steps up? I don't, I don't know what the answer is or what you know. But to me, well, to me, I want that guy coming out of the Xfinity series with the most confidence he can have. And if it's a new car, I'd rather him come in and start from the beginning rather than. There's influencers in this decision making process, and one of the main influencers is the president of Penske Racing, whose name is what TJ. I forgot. Tim Sendrick. He has the same last name oh, yeah. as his son, Austin Sendrick. Uh, but ultimately, the decision is made, in my opinion, Freddie, by two guys, Roger Penske and John Menard, with Paul Menard being a heavy influencer to John Menard, who handpicked Matt to get this car to start with. Yeah. I think Austin's done a great job uh, turning the corner this year, and just he's grown. He's I think he's done a great job coming around in the Xfinity Series. He's I, a I agree with you 100%, and I think next year that you could go out there and win a race in that car. Me? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Where is there? Is there? <laughs> I, think Hannah, I think Hannah could probably go run fifth. Because, Thank you. Because she I'll falls out it. of the seat. It's, it's a long race. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it hey, fifth. I'll, I'll be as a side. That's a fast car. Yeah, I, I just think he's running. I mean, he's running very smart. Right? Like he's he's running very smart. Right? He's he's improved. I've seen him. He's improve. doing what he's supposed to do in a very fast car, which is win, win races. races. Yeah. Every time you go to offerpad.com, a beer magically appears in my hand. I need you guys go to offerpad.com and get your cash offer on your home today. 